Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to uh, talk about my favorites ever since I started taking an interest in buying luxury items and beautiful things. Um, if this is the type of content you enjoy, please uh, subscribe to my channel down below. And if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my uh, channel to grow. Um, so let's start. Um, I guess I, I just want to say that I'm using a very strict criteria um, to uh, I guess to nominate which items I really enjoy uh, the most uh, currently ever since I've um, started my interest or hobby into uh, luxury items um, so they're not necessarily just you know things that I enjoy because I have to say there are so many things that I've enjoyed um, ever since you know i started buying these items i've not really had one that i would consider a fail so far so so far so good i've um disciplined myself enough to really think about whether it would work in my lifestyle uh, whether i would have occasions to make good use of it uh, whether it's something that is you know quite easy to use and doesn't cause me frustration so i've been going very slow in terms of purchase purchasing um, and that's very intentional um, and also it's helped by the fact that you know the price of these items are so so expensive nowadays that I you know really want to think very um, very I guess extensively before I actually you know consider buying the items um, yeah, so there are many more things that I actually you might have seen on my channel that I've unboxed that is, you know, that that may not feature in this video. Not because I'm not using them and not because I'm not liking them, um, but I, I guess I just really want to, you know, show the ones that, you know, it's almost like I use it every single day, and you know, each time I use it, I'm I'm just like in love with it. Um, so. I have bought a Maggie B um, French market tote, um, especially for this video, um, because I just thought it would be so good if I put, you know, most of these items, the tag still on. Um, actually, I'll need to remove it because it this actually just came uh, yesterday evening, um, so. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to remove it yet. Um, so Maggie B, if you're in Australia, yeah, you probably know of her. She is a, a chef um, and um, she makes her own sort of produce, I guess, you know, condiments um, and jams and other bits and bulbs. Um, and I was surprised to find that they actually have a um, one of these I guess sea grass, I think they're weaved. Um, tote, actually, let's see. Uh, classic style basket, which pays homage to the traditional old world basket weaving techniques. Ethically crafted by hand in Morocco, using water reed and finished with genuine leather handles in two lamps. Um, I only see one lamp, actually, and <laughs> not two. Uh, so yeah, no, something went wrong. I mean, there is a shorter uh, handle here. I guess that's what they're referring to, but it's, this is not leather. Um, um, so he, each pan, ha, like each bag is handmade. Um, and the reason why I, ca I guess, you know, I wanted one of these is because uh, there's so much trend uh, recently into wicker baskets and you know I guess it's because it's summer in the northern hemisphere but I've always kind of felt I'm not gonna go into that trend because they are super expensive like you know from brands like Celine, Louis and you know and at the end of the day for me like this type of basket it's meant to look rustic um, I've got it in my mind that they're really kind of farmers 
um, market, you know, very casual, and it would look best when it's kind of like a rustic feel to it rather than, you know, in a very designer, you know, luxury kind of type of aesthetic. Um, so that's why I've, you know, decided to, well, I'll just have a look at, you know, one of these, you know, uh, much, uh, I guess, affordable uh, option of similar style and, you know, really think about whether, you know, something that I would consider buy into the, you know, the, the trend of the, the luxury versions. And, you know, currently, no, I don't think I would because I really feel like, yeah, I don't know, for me, it's a no so far. This is just me. Um, so I've got in that things that, uh, what should I show? Ah, okay. Handbag first, probably. So, um, my Celine uh, Triumph, a classic Triumph crossbody bag, um, has to take the crown when it comes to handbag. Um, look, don't get me wrong, I love, 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 love my um, Picotine um, from Hermes, um, but because that one is more, I guess, it's more precious I guess um, and the you know because this it's that type of leather um, the Clemence leather that my essay told me like you shouldn't really get it wet so it really limits the amount of opportunity I can actually use the bag particularly uh, recently in Australia uh, Sydney it's been just raining so much um, that really you know this is has been my go-to for every day um, I've actually in fact got all my uh, essentials in it at the moment because I'm actually using this today um, so that brings me to other items that are in there that I make use of you know on a day-to-day -day basis uh, obviously a card holder and this is the card holder uh, from LV um, and in the leather version um look it's my only card holder um i do have the chanel uh sort of long wallets they're just too big nowadays and it's not fit for purpose so um yeah no this is my favorite and one and only um so that's that now another item in here uh, that i just love 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 is uh my hermes um lipstick um this is in the shade uh, rose brewer um number 19 the satin sorry i hope bleh, the satin version um and it's just if you haven't seen my um i think i did a shorts on this one and um yeah no it's it's just perfect for my uh winter um true winter color uh skin under time so love 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 this um lipstick you know if i was to finish this i will definitely need to repurchase um what other things yeah look i think they're the things i mean there are item, other items of course that i use you know but they're not, I guess, you know, they're not luxury and, and you know, they're, they're, they're sort of essentials that I kind of just use. It doesn't kind of spark that joy for me, but they're absolutely essential in my handbag. So that's that. Uh, what's the next thing I have today? See, one thing that I'm always a bit mindful with these kind of weave basket, whether it's wicker or water reed, is like I, I don't know like maybe maybe you know for the luxury versions it doesn't happen it's just so rough and so I'm, I'm just thinking like it's rough on the hands it scratches so you know I mean this one's got the leather strap which which is good but you know otherwise yeah things you know when you take things in and out I'm just always worried that it will just scratch my other leather small you know small leather goods when I and that's why I've got this you know just a um, I think this was a coach 
dust bag. So I'm just using that to, you know, protect the things that I'm, you know, putting in there. Um, so I think this basket, I'm just really, yeah, going to use it for markets and, you know, random, random things to, uh, to put, put in, uh, inside a house to take it up and down the stairs maybe I don't know but you yeah, know I'm definitely not going to be you know using this as a as a day out bag or anything like that it's, you know I just have to be too careful about what sort of items I can put in there without scratching them now this is the Hermes um, I think they call it a pencil case um, I featured it in an unboxing video. I just love, love, love. Oh, it's a bit dusty because it's just sitting out uh, on my bedside table all the time. Now I do have another chain tray that's of a square um, sort of style. I think they're actually matchy matchy in terms of color. Yes, they are. The, oh no, the inside, the, the outside is matchy matchy. Sorry, if I could get it the right way. So there you go. The 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 outside is matchy matchy, but um the inside is just slightly different color. I think the the square one is a bit of a um reddish orange, whereas um the pencil case version is more earthy orange. Um, I've forgotten the actual color name codes for them. I'll I'll link I'll put. Put it down below in the comment section uh, look i love both of these but i have to say you know if god forbid whatever happens to, you know if i damage you know both of them these and i can only buy one i would actually go for the pencil case uh, because it's i just found the length it's it's easy you know it's more versatile for me to put longer objects um and what would that be you know if you're a glasses wearer like me um you know if it's if it's sunglasses if it's your prescription glasses you know these are the things that i would need to take off uh, before i go to bed so absolutely um it keeps my uh, bedside table very tidy and in the morning i know exactly where my glasses are without fumbling around so definitely my favorite in terms of you know change trays items in the house what other things i've got in here i'm uh, talking about glasses um i've got in here it's not in the original box because the original box is too bulky um for handbags so i always just you know store it in this um I think it's just like a random affordable brand called Status Anxiety. Um, just to store store the glasses in. It's a thinner case. Um, but yeah, no, my one and only pair of non-prescription sunglasses from Christian from Dior. Um, and yeah, no, I love this whenever I need to use my sunglasses um, when I'm wearing contacts um, because I have only one pair. This is it. And every time I use it, I am loving it. Um, not really because I love it so much. I, you know, I'm not actually looking for another pair at the moment because I'm very happy. I'm not getting, you know, tired and off it. I'm not getting bored of it. Um, it matches you know everything um, I just love how it's not black um, it's a bit of a transparent moss green gray green so again it really suits the um, undertone of my skin which is why I love it I mean black would suit my skin very well as well but I just thought you know I always have black glasses frame so it's a bit boring for me to go for another pair of black sunglasses um, particularly the days that I'm wearing contacts is the day other days that I've you know sort of a bit more dressed up you know to go out you know on my own without um, without my kid um, so you know I just feel like to dress up a little bit more on those days um, and this is perfect for that um now 
Talking about accessory, look, um, I love all my jewelry. I I rotate. If you haven't seen my jewelry uh, jewelry collection video, um, I will link them down below or you know in the on the screen as well. Um, but yeah, and I love all of them. I rotate through them, but there is one piece that I just keep on wearing um, whenever I go out, and that's this one. Uh, is the Hermes silver bracelet. Um, I think it's the collier, like the dog collar um, style. I just love, love, love it. Um, it's just so, so easy um, to to wear and style. Um, you know, it's a bit of a statementy, but not too over the board. So it goes well for casual look, goes well for chic look. Um, you know, pretty much, yeah, you know, it goes well with a dress, yeah, any, everything really. So, and because it's so easy to um, put on and off, I just love it. Um, easy, but at the same time, quite secure. So it's not like it's gonna, you know, pop off and, and fall out. Um, and it, because it's silver, um, sterling silver, there is a bit of weight to it. Uh, which is a good thing because God forbid if you know if this does pop off and fall I will know about it because first it will make a big noise if it's on you know ground in second um, I will feel suddenly yeah no something is missing but yes it has never happened and I hope will it won't happen that it will just fall off um, so hopefully Hermes has you know designed it in such a way that it's just not going to pop off. Um, so love, love this. Um, now, another piece of essential um, is my Celine notebook cover. Love this. Um, I'm not going to open it because it's got all my uh, private things. Um, but yeah, no, it's so... I use this for work and it just makes work so much more enjoyable. I know it sounds a bit silly that I need a piece of luxury item to make work enjoyable, but at the end of the day, yeah, it does make a difference. Uh, and this is the book where I just jot down things that I really need to do that I kind of don't want to do right now kind of you know things that I want to procrastinate a bit um, so if I put it down because I just love taking this out opening it and using it it kind of gives me a bit of momentum to actually get the job done um, so love love this again um, now clink clink clang clang so we <laughs> up to more sort of beauty items now I've just put this in there um, because yes, my I don't want to put my whole Dyson kit in here um, it's, it's too much but basically yes uh, my Dyson air wrap um, particularly this curl size this this roller curl size I just yeah I can't go without it now um, because my hair type actually really holds curls quite well um I, yeah i'm finding you know it actually holds my curl like using the air wrap my hair stays wavy i mean initially like day one is like curly day two is like the perfect um you know in between um more of a relaxed curl and then you know day three it's like you know starting to just be a little bit wavy but you know that that's that's enough for me until my uh, next hair wash day. I do wash my hair every third day. Um, so yeah, no, I just love these. I think my face frame really suits the more curly, wavy style hairstyle and because my hair naturally is a little bit wavy. It really does, you know. Even if I just you know um, tie my hair. Um, 
you know, in a bun or, or something like that, you know, in a certain way, it, you know, when I release the hair tie, it just holds that shape. Um, not for a long time without products, um, but yeah, no, I, I guess, yeah, really, I think my hair, uh, the texture and my face frame really lean towards uh, wavy hairstyle. So having the air wrap um, really, really helps me um, to style my hair. Now, on the topic of hair, um, what I find very useful is actually, this is just something I randomly bought from Sephora to hold my curls. Um, JVN is the um, serum and then the styling milk. So I used both of these together before I used my air wrap and I have found that it actually does help to hold my curls um, for the whole three days. Um, so I love that. Um, and last one in there, but I have two other items that's not uh, in this, in, in, actually no, I will put them in now so that I kind of continue the, the trend. Uh, I'll just put, move it off camera so you can't see. There we go. Cause it, yeah, no, it was just getting a bit squishy in there. So I didn't put the last two items in there. But yeah, no, this one is the Dennis Goss Dr. Dennis Goss uh, LED mask. Um, yeah, I know there are a lot of other masks out there um, and I haven't tried them. Uh, the reason why I got this is just because it's, you know, a well-known brand, it's a reputable brand. And, you know, for me, I just thought, you know, I'm a bit, yeah. I'm a bit worried to try new brands that I've never heard of. Um, so that's why I got this one. Um, and I have just been loving it. Um, I really noticed a huge difference on my skin. Um, sort of maybe after, you know, maybe a month of using this almost daily. I don't use it every day. Um, but maybe like five days out of you know the week I would be using this um, you can set this three different setting there is one that just gives you um, blue light um, which I think is meant to um, be good for acne and then there's one that um, gives you red light which is good for stimulating collagen production and then third one which is a combination I personally find the combination is probably good for just maintenance when you're not having any issues with your skin um, but otherwise yeah I use you know the the blue setting when I'm having sort of more hormonal breakout issues and um, and the red setting when my skin just feels a little bit tired. Um, I have to say out of the three settings I like the red setting the most because I, that's the one that I really found has um, made a difference to the overall complexion of my skin. Um, after using this my skin had has had a significant improvement in terms of the brightness um, of the skin. So yeah, no, that, that's, I think, you know, if this was to break, I would definitely go out and purchase another LED mask. Uh, would I purchase the same brand? Look, I have to say, now that I've used this for like more than a year now, I'm a little bit more comfortable uh, in using LED mask and maybe I would sort of explore other brands I don't know uh, or I might still just go back to these major brands when it comes to these items um, and ta-da upside down my Hermes uh, 90 by 90 um, silk scarf um, I am particularly getting into autumn and winter again. I think I bought this uh, maybe around winter time last year or autumn time last year. So I haven't been using it for a little while because of the summer and spring. I really can't uh, sort of stand wearing scarves uh, for the warmer seasons um in australia when it's warm it just gets so hot and warm that 
yeah, you don't want to put anything around your neck. Um, so, yeah, no, but now in the autumn and, win, you know, approaching winter, it's so, so, so good to wear this um, seal scarf. I've been wearing it quite frequently, um, even for work, going into work. It just keeps me so much warmer to have something around my neck. Um, and it is so, yeah, it's just so stylish and warm. And, you know, the, I think, you know, Hermes silk really is just so high and high quality. Um, if I was to, yeah, you know, lose this, I would definitely go and repurchase another um, silk scarf of this size. Um, in fact, I'm actually on the lookout for purchasing another one of a different color tone. Um, just because I think, uh, yeah, having that versatility, you know, to match my outfit and stuff. This is like, you know, it, it's black background. And so uh, if I want to contrast, you know, already a very dark, uh, say a black top, you know, sometimes I just want to you know make the scarf more stand out and the star of the show then i think it would be helpful if i grab a scarf that is of a brighter um color or lighter color so yeah no this is definitely my favorite and last but not least perfume um i'm not a girl who used to wear perfume at all um until i started this luxury interest um and i've been loving this um coco mademoiselle perfume that i purchased last christmas um to make use of the special uh christmas packaging i just am a sucker for packaging there's there's no excuse i just yeah i think whenever they release beautiful packaging yeah, it just, it, I just falls for the trick. Um, but at least, you know, I'm not buying this before. Like, you know, I wait. I wait until there's a special packaging out and that's that's when I go go and buy, <laughs> buy you know, these type of um, more luxury perfume. And, yeah, no, it's just such a... I just love this scent. Um, and I find, you know, that I did... Per, I did show that I've unboxed like this is not the first luxury perfume that I bought the other one I actually bought the Hermes um, uh, I think they call it Herm Essence Herm Essence um, range um, the Os Memphis Eula like don't get me wrong I love that scent as well um, but I find that scent more for um i guess more for when i'm kind of uh for sort of short time day out because it, it doesn't last um i guess it doesn't project far uh you know for a long time that scent um that if i actually want the scent to hang around um you know and a bit more noticeable during the day um this is you know what I wear and this is what I wear to work um, yeah look uh, I've been using you know samples as well that's why it this hasn't gone down as quick as um, it would otherwise have but um, yeah my samples are, are starting to run out and I want to preserve the samples for putting in my handbag instead so I've been kind of starting to use this one more uh, the full size version more and maybe by the time it's uh, Christmas again then I have another reason to purchase another one in the and other hopefully they'll release a different uh, limited edition um, packaging by then so yeah this is uh, this is all I want to talk about today I hope you've enjoyed this type of video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please please um, do consider subscribing Thank you for your support and see you next time. Bye.